I just had a cookie, uh, oatmeal raisin free. They give them out here. You know, I love doing these events because you get such a great turnout of young people, young Catholics that are just really passionate about their faith that are here to kind of explore, you know, what the young Catholic population is. I guess that's what I am. But you know, to be a young adult, to, a bearded young adult. Yeah, I have a beard. Makes me a young adult, especially like balance. It's kind of you do adoration before the concert. It's kind of like eating your dessert before. You're eating the food. Sometimes I, I guess it's kind of like that's the main course of the, the meat and potatoes and then we're kind of the dessert. We're like the aperitif. And there's like prayer time and there's fun, goof around, dance, go crazy time. To see so many other young Catholics turning out, young, faithful, like, you know, people that are Orthodox and, and really have a, a passion for the Eucharist and, and get it. Well, this was born uh, 21 years ago when I was pastor of Dolores Mission Church. And because we had eight gangs in that tiny area, that constituted it to be the largest concentration of gang activity in the whole world was right there. So I buried a lot of kids while I was the pastor there. I buried my 168th uh, three weeks ago. So we started a school, and then we started a jobs program, and then we started a bakery. And every year we've just sort of added, now it's the largest gang intervention program in the country. I used to see my uh, my cousins, and um, I used to see them down the street where I used to live at, you know, doing crazy stuff. Uh, something inside me told me that I wanted to do the same thing, and I ended up, I be became a gang member. Became a gang member. Um, well, actually, I was raised in foster homes. I was abused when I was little. My family's gang-related. At age 10, I got arrested. So it's like I know what it is to be a gang member. I used to carry a gun, you know, like, for me, it was, like, fun, you know? just. Carry and shoot people. I wanted to kick back with friends, you know? And so that was the closest friends that I found. What we do here, we actually remove tattoos to anybody from anywhere in the United States. They start to come to a place where they say, I, I don't want my kid to see this. When I got out of prison, that's when I got shot. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair, you know? Like, I'm handicapped, I can't even work. I mean, I can't do nothing. Well, homeboy helped me with a lot, like getting my job getting me off probation. Well, it helped me a lot. I was happy when I got my first check, you know? I, well, I went and buy me some clothes, quick, you know? To this day, it makes me feel good, you know, buying my own stuff, you know? No kid is seeking anything when he or she joins a gang. They're, they're really fleeing something. And we've had members of near, from nearly 600 gangs from all of Raleigh County show up here to get uh, help and support and tattoos removed and jobs. We went to the White House. You know, it was great because I was actually drinking white wine in there, you know, holding a cup like this, you know, it was pretty good. Hopo Industries is the largest gang intervention program in the U.S. of A, I suppose, in the world. And so it's like a rehab center. It helps folks who want to, gang members who want to redirect their lives. It's not a program for those who need help. It's only for those who want it. All of the programs and services are free, 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 free.